weekend nyo. Nag- nag-celebrate pa kayo. Medyo. <laughs> Bahay lang po. <laughs> oh. Ikaw, Rax. Parang may sinabi si Rax. Pero walang... Ay, ay sorry, naka naka yung headset ko. Traffic po eh. Bahay lang. Nakakatamad lumabas. Ano sa bahay na po ako. Okay ka naman doon. Okay na po. Ah, nice, nice. nice. Bago lang. Bago lang ba? Or ano? Nung ano po, performance na performance na ako doon. Nice. Oh, tagal na. Yes. Ayan, so we are live. Ayan, um, sige, mag-intro muna tayo. Intro video muna tayo. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Yeah. So, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Flip Chat and Chill. Um, today, wala si Phoenix, wala si Anna. Um, pero I'm here, so sorry guys, pala yung ano nyo. Pero at least, I'm, I'm, here, for some I'm here and we have um, our guest today. Um, we have, well, well, we'll introduce each other. I'm, I'm Jason Dulay. I'm, I'm the founder of the VA Bootcamp and freelancers in the Philippines. Um, and we have... Guest number one, si Joy. Hello. <laughs> Hello po. Good afternoon. Um, I'm a nurse and um, nag- nag-enroll ako sa VA Bootcamp noong July last year. And natapos ko yung course ng April lang. And ayun, nakakuha na rin ng clients. Hello. <laughs> Pero hindi nursing, di ba hindi nursing yung client po? Ah, hindi po. Oh. Social media, right? Oh, is it social media? Social media, NBA, bin. Uh, social media, NBA. Okay, Rax, ikaw, Rax. Ayan, hello Just po. Rax and Raquel po. Uh, nag-enroll ako sa VA Bootcamp last December, pagkakuha ng bonus, <laughs> 2018. So, yun, nung nag-enroll ako, nag-resign kagad ako noong January, and then by March, nakakuha na ako ng client, and then yun, ah, uh, Uh, virtual assistant ako nung isa kong client. And then, sa Pinterest din. Okay, okay. Um, Pinterest and uh, virtual assistant. Nice. And we'll, we'll go to guest number three, Miss Bong Isleta. Parang Miss Universe. Parang ako kinakakagandang na nag-enroll sa bootcamp. Nag-enroll ako sa bootcamp 2016 pa. Ah. Wow. Uh, so, uh, ano ngayon wala working as for the law client ko bootcamp. Sa <laughs> isang UK client kasi meron na akong bagong business na invention. Wow. Um business. <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> um and contestant number four is Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Yes. I'm Jessa. Nag-enroll ako sa VA boot, uh, boot, boot camp, VA boot camp last um, January. And then natapos ko siya, Feb. Tapos, kailan lang ako nagkaroon ng client? Ano lang, mga May lang. May lang ako nagkaroon ng client. Yeah. Okay. And what are you doing for your client, Jessa? Um, social media manager. Tapos, ngayon, uh, WordPress naman yung pinapagawa nila sa akin. So, uh, the, yun, VA. VA din nila. All around, something like that. Social media and VA. And thank you. Thank you for all our contestants tonight. Tonight, we are continuing from last week. <laughs> we are from last week. Last week, um, um, like Anna and Holly talked about how to learn any skills fast. Part one. And we're going to continue with part two. We're going to go on um, number 16 of our, our list of, of 30. So, um, 
what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go over these one by one. We'll spend, we'll spend a couple of minutes um, and each of us are going to share um, and some insights about about this. So, um, well, let me ito, ito yung, uh, set aside space. Okay, so what do we mean by set aside space? Well, for, for me, setting aside space, it, it's important that when you're trying to learn any skill, right? I, ako, I've learned sa, sa experience, ko, I've learned different skills. Um, I, yung mga online marketing, my website, I learned a lot of different skills. Um, and setting aside a space, especially in physical space, not like sa bahay, sometimes magulo, may tao, diba? may mga distractions. Um, so if you have a space at home, that's good. That's good that you can you can you know you can set expectations with the people at home that you know you need to to learn a skill. You need to practice. Diba? Maybe you're in, you've enrolled the boot camp and, and you want to have that space to to just focus. Um, that's great. Otherwise, um, you can also go out go outside of the house. Diba? What's important is your environment. Lang. Your environment, which is para conducive to learning. Na hindi ka um, and Parang feel mo malearn, di ba? Kasi minsan, it, it matters kung magulo yung, yung paligid mo, you don't feel like learning, di ba? Minsan, oh, kasi nakaka-distract. So, yeah, that's, that's, our, that's our first tip for tonight. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's move on to our next tip, um, handled by Joy. Um, yung sa next naman, uh, have everything set out. Bali, ito, yung sa akin naman, um, ito, yung parang, yung mga distractions, dapat talaga i-set aside mo muna. Kung aral time, aral time muna. Kung practice ng skill, yun muna yung ipapractice. Bali, yung mga, katulad ng mga ibang distractions, um, kailangan, yan, kailangan i-set aside. <laughs> Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. Have everything set out, diba? Like, yeah, okay. you set aside, set aside everything and have the thing set out na for what you're trying to do, diba? Trying to achieve your goals. Para mas makapag-focus din to talaga sa task. Oo, oo. Yeah, that's, that's very important na, na you're able to focus talaga on, on your learning and achieving what you're trying to do, diba? Sige. Um, Raquel, let's... Right. Ayon. Yung uh, number three is yung deliberate practice. So dito yung sinasabing deliberate practice, hindi yung pa-practicein mo lang yung same. Uh, Kung baga pa ulit-ulit ka lang, isa lang yung pa-practice mo kanya re. Uh, music, magpa-practice ka ng music, isang kanta lang yun lang yun yun at yun lang yun tututugin mo. So sure yun lang yung may improve sa iyo yung same na ginagawa mo na skill and like sa deliberate ibig sabihin nun, parang mag magpa-practice ka talaga magte-take ka ng mga like parang sa school may examination kay na ginagawa ganun para makikita mo kung nag improve ka talaga o hindi so yung parang deliberate practice dito hindi yung stagnant na isa lang yung pina-practice mo or practice mo din yung mga uh iko mga may stand, may standard process kang sinusunod hanggang sa paakyat ka ng paakyat nakikita mo na nag-iimprove yung pina-practice mo na skill na nag-iimprove ka doon sa skill na gusto mong i-niche down kumbaga so sa, sa sa pagiging VA mo um like how how are you able to deliberately practice para like, ayun sa akin po yun. Personally, yung sa akin, yung pinapractice ko talaga yung ngayon is yung sa Pinterest kasi uh, nagsimula ko sa client ko as a admin assistant lang niya and then binigyan niya ako ng Pinterest na uh, na task so nagmamanage ako ng Pinterest niya. So dun sa ano, dun sa pagmamanage ng Pinterest niya, syempre wala akong idea siya lang yung nagbibigay sa akin na oh, ito yung gawin mo, ganito yung gawin mo. So para sa akin, ang ginagawa ko naman personally, sinesearch ko kung ano ba yung mga uh, ways para may improve yung profile ni client, ano yung mga dapat na yung mga keyword searches, ganun. So personally, nagsisearch din ako kasi alam ko sa client, kumaga may ano na siya, may idea na siya dun sa pagmamanage ng Pinterest niya. Tapos tinatanong niya rin ako na, oh, ano yung ano ba yung may suggest mo sa pag improve ng profile? So syempre, wala akong idea. So ang ginagawa ko, nagre-research ako sa internet, ano ba yung mga kailangan ng clients, ano ba yung mga uh, techniques para mapalago yung Pinterest ng client and 
yung, ang importante dun kasi is yung click-throughs, yung may mag-click dun sa, ano nila, sa link, so para mapunta sa website, ganun. So yun, more on research talaga kung ano yung kinakailangan para ma-improve yung Pinterest profile na client. Oo, oh, oh, oh. and, and ngayon, you're able to do it right now as a freelancer, di ba? You're able yes, to practice oh. that right now. Uh -oh. So, in deliberate practice. By the way, guys, um, just just to remind all our audience members today, na kung sino ang vote nyo, ano, um, don't forget to to. Of course, you can share this. <laughs> um, you can share this. Uh, feel free to share this. We we really appreciate that you share this with others. Then you know we're, we're talking about learning skills. Hindi lang naman freelancing na these these tips can be useful, pero in other areas then we, we 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 in especially in today's world it's very important that we learn skills quickly we learn skills quickly right? um, all of us here we're in we're in online you know the online industry and it's so important things are always changing right? like every day there are always new updates and even in um like even in things like medical areas and engineering and things like that Things are always changing, so um, yeah, appreciate you shared it and say hi in the comments. Let us know. I'm, I'm sure we're, we're, we can see the comments here and, and let us know how you're doing. If you have any questions, if you have any comments about these tips from Aaron, can you share regarding sa tip naro? Feel free to comment down below. Rico lang muna yung mga break muna. Rico lang muna yung mga um, viewers natin ngayon. Um, so Chin, um, hello from Batangas. Shruti from Riz, from Rodriguez, Rodriguez, uh, Jerica, Emmanuel, si Anna, and Dito. Bakit wala, wala ka dito, Anna? Saan ka ba? Uh, Joyce, um, Krisha, Ernesto, Melanie, um, Jules from Cardona, Jennifer, Jocelyn, um, hello, Kat, Rhea, Lorebe, and Kenny. Hello, hello. And yes, please share this with others, and we're going to continue to our next tip uh we're going to continue to our next with our next tip for tonight uh, ito yung next tip natin um miss bong is leta would you like to go ahead i look for the discomfort zone ito parang relate na relate ako dito kasi parang yung time na mag ito parang yung parang aaralin mo hindi mo aaralin pala yung gusto ko lang aaralin or yung alam mo na so para ito yung time na mag unique daw na tayo. Parang ganun yung pag-hiding ko. Kasi ito, uh, delete na rin ako kasi ayoko pang mag down. Parang gusto ko doon lang ako sa comfort zone ko, which, which is general being. Parang ay, parang hindi ko pa ma maano yung sarili ko na mag down na. Although may nag-push na sa akin, si JD, nag-push na siya na mag down na ako. Pero parang ayoko pa. So kailangan mo talagang, mag so, parang mag mas mapataas mo yung rate mo, mas maging maganda yung rate mo, kailangan mag talaga lumabas tayo sa discomfort zone. Oo, oh, oh, labas tayo sa comfort zone talaga, di ba? Ay, lang, uh, oh, labas tayo sa comfort zone at hanapin natin yung discomfort zone. Tama, tama, tama. Oo, kasi uh, parang yung sakit kasi, parang di ba, general VA ako for the longest time. Tapos I, I have to, parang, parang nakontento na ako sa ganun. Pero kailangan hindi tayo makontento, di ba? Parang kailangan ko na mag-level up. Oo, so nag-level up ka na ngayon, di ba? Nag-level up naman. <laughs> and and it's challenging, especially at first, right? when, when you first step out of your comfort zone. Um, well, yeah. that, that we all stepped out of our comfort zone, um, right? um We like ako dante sa call center, right? Parang napaka normal, yeah, parang easy, easy lang, um, because you're used to it. Um, used to it. All of us, in order to achieve where we are right now, we we had to step out of our comfort zone. Because when you start. Something like online freelancing, it's not comfortable talaga, di ba? Medyo mahirap, um, challenging, and daming challenging, and daming stresses. Um, but, you know, if, if you really want to learn, especially if you want to learn something new, you have to do something you're not comfortable with. Step out of your culture. Uh, uh, so, um, Jessa, so for each, every time, this is regarding for every time that you're studying or every time that you're practicing something so go ahead jessa okay yung next one is uh, have a goal for each practice session uh, session so syempre pag napapractice tayo talagang meron tayong specific na goal kung bakit tayo nagpa-practice kasi 
personally ako, gusto kong i-practice yung mga binibigay sa akin task ng client ko. Kasi it's added um, skill din sa akin. Kasi at first, it's for example, it's just a social media. So um, kahit na meron kang konting idea, I didn't know sa sarili ko kung ano yung mga back-end na kailangan ko pa rin matutunan. Kasi sobrang lawak ng social media pagdating sa ganon. So, um, nagsaset ako ng goal. So, for example, ang gusto kong matutunan ngayon is to how to manage my time para malesen yung, pag, yung oras ko ng paggagawa um, ng contents, yung mga ganyan. So, pinapractice ko na uh, this hour is um, magsasearch ako kung ano yung mga mga kailangan uh, related dun sa account ng client ko. Tapos, next one, pa-practice ko naman yung um, yung iba pang mga task nila. So, ngayon, binibigyan nila akong task like uh, website. Uh, they given me access to their website. Sometimes, I feel so scared na yung mag, um, kumalikot ng interface ng website kasi it's because I don't know I don't know yung mga interfaces ko yung dapat i-click. Pero when you do a practice or meron din someone to teach you, um, magiging ano ba siya, uh, magiging kampante ka and then you will learn by practicing everything. Yan. So practice lang ng practice. Sabi nga nila, um, practice makes perfect. Ganyan. So practice lang para at least maging comfortable ka dun sa gagawin mong mga, mga bagay-bagay. Oh, and, and I agree, especially having a goal is really important. Because um, I've, I've tried that before. Parang you're reading something, you're trying to study something, pero parang after ilang oras, parang wala kang progress pa rin. Um, and one of the reasons is because wala tayong goal. So if you're focused on the goal and say, at the end of this session, gusto mo kong matutunan like how to manage Instagram, ganun, di ba? So you'll, everything you're doing during that, practice session or study session is regards to achieving that goal. So uh, it's very important that you have that goal. It's like when, when, you're, when your client told you to go on that website, you had that goal in mind. We um, added or to change something. So, yeah, very, that's a very great tip to, to keep in mind for everybody, for everybody tonight. So yes, again, let's um, I don't realize I, Realize that there are four stages of the learning process. It's happened to ito yung mahirap. Yung mahirap. <laughs> there are four stages of the learning process. <laughs> so the, there are four stages. When we, when we learn something new, especially, uh, we go through four stages. Four stages, first of all, is what we call unconscious incompetence. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Unconscious, so we're not aware. Tapos incompetence, hindi tayo magaling. So, um, at this stage, we don't, basically it means, I don't know what, what I don't know. Diba? I don't know. Um, I don't know yet. Diba? So, let's say, sige, um, study, if I wanted to study, for example, paano mag-set up ng website for the first time. I don't know what is WordPress. Hindi ko pa alam ano mga plugins na yun. Hindi ko pa alam ang HTML. So at that point, I don't even know ano yung details nitong web design na to. I don't know what I don't know yet. So at stage one, parang this is very fresh. You don't really know anything. You don't even know the, the outline of the topics dito sa pinag-aralan mo or yung details dun. Um, and when you're starting, like when you're, if you're trying to um, set up a website, like, you don't even know where to start. But this is when we're saying, okay, go in moto. And when a client says, go in moto, and you say, hello, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know where to start. So that is um, conscious incompetence. Slash that. See? So, right, during stage one, conscious incompetence. So stage two is something we call um, conscious incompetence. So this is when we know what we don't know about we know see see i know about i know about website i know this topic is called you know setting up a website um i've heard about html i've heard about css about wordpress about it on my extensions na to, pero i don't know how to do them yet so conscious and confidence meaning you're aware of what you don't know so parang may, parang may idea ka na. Sa, conscious, in conscious, in, sa stage one, sa unconscious incompetence, wala ka talagang idea. Uh, dito, sa stage two, may idea ka na. 
may idea ka na, may outline ka na, okay, this is, this is the topic that I'm going to tackle. Um, and I know that these are the topics, but I don't know how to do them yet. Okay. Um, so once you're, when, at that stage, you're learning how to do it. Ito yung pinakamahirap na stage. Kasi sa stage one, you're just trying to find out more information. Like research ka pa. You know, okay, this is, ah, ito pala, ito pala yung mga topics. Ito pala yung gagawin na isang virtual assistant. Okay, unconscious incompetence. Sa so, conscious incompetence, you already know, oh, ito na yung gagawin na isang virtual assistant. Now, I have to learn how to do this. Okay, so um, awareness, awareness na when you start, you don't, you really won't know. Wala ka talagang idea. But once you start researching, when you start studying, you'll have an idea. And when you have an idea, you'll start learning how to do those things. And then, then the next stage is what we call conscious competence. So this at this stage, you already learned how to do email management, how to manage social media. And then you already know what you're doing. Then, and you're able to do it. Competence, meaning marunong ka na. You know na marunong ka na. You know, so you're, you're working hard on it. You're doing well. Um, you're not an expert pa, pero you're, you're okay. And the last stage is something we call um, ito, unconscious competence. So what this means is about unconscious, so hindi tayo aware, competence, namagaling tayo. Unconscious competence. Um, and what that means is we don't even need to think. Hindi na, we don't even need to, to think about it. Parang automatic na siya. So unconscious competence is when it's become automatic na, Oh, for creating a website, sige, click, click, click lang. Okay, tapos na, ganyan, di ba? So, um, that's unconscious competence. When you won't, hindi na challenge, hindi na siya struggle for you. Ang bilis na, okay, dali lang naman to. Oo. So, that's unconscious competence. So, um, in these four stages of the learning process, that we, we talked about these four stages of the learning process, um, what, you know, you'll just be aware now, you're going to be moving from stage to stage. Um, na hindi ka naman from stage one na magiging stage four agad. But you have to go through stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. It is a step-by-step -step learning process. So um, don't get discouraged for everyone that's watching, diba? Don't get discouraged if um, you won't know immediately. Just be aware na may st stage by stage yung learning process. Okay. Uh, haba ng, ano ko, haba ng point ko. Okay. Um, Joy, let's move on to Joy here. Uh, get okay. a teacher or mentor. Ayan, get a teacher or mentor. Ito yung sa VA Bootcamps. Um, sa totoo lang, pwede mo siyang isearch din eh. Kasi maraming sa YouTube, mga videos, sa, sa Google, kung sa mga blogs din, ang dami nang pwedeng um, pag-aralan doon. Like sa mga email handling, social mark yung mga marketing, management. Kaya lang, it will take you longer pag aaralin mo lang ng uh, lahat lang lahat ng overwhelm ka pero pag may coach ka sa kami teacher ka uh, coach or teacher talagang magiging easy na rin sa iyo yung pag-aaral ng skill mas mabilis kang matututo kasi sila na pagdaanan na yon tapos i-share na lang din nila kung ano yung naging uh, knowledge nila kung ano rin yung mga naging experience nila so ikaw saka sa yung understanding talagang maaano uh, mo rin sa ano sa teacher kasi naggaling din sila doon sa ano beginner stage hangga't sa parang hindi pa nila nalalaman kung ano ba talaga yung skill na yun parang na practice na din nila na pag-aralan nila yung skill na yun hangga't sa parang kaya na rin nila magturo kaya importante pag uh, mag-ask ka ng help para maging humble ka noong Uh, uh, ask for help. Kaya ako, uh, sumali din talaga ako sa VA Bootcamp. Kasi kailangan ko rin ng teacher na mag-guide sa akin na para matapos ko rin yung sa mga courses. Saka yung iba pa rin yung mamomotivate ka ng, mga, ng teacher para matapos ng isang skill na yan. Ayun. Oo. No, uh, I, I agree. Um, Mag-enroll na. I agree. Like uh, third <laughs> <laughs> get a teacher, get a mentor. Um, ako din, I got mentors then when I was when when I'm learning something new, especially because I may experience it. Eh. Parang why would you go through the mistakes if somebody already has gone through it? Um, sabi ni Marie Christine Gonzalez, shout out to Joy. Love this is so proud. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ate. Ay, at, uh, ate mo pala to. Gonzales na. Wow. Um, sige, sige. Uh, moving on to our... Saan sa na yung ano natin? Ay, nawala yung... Nawala yung... Yung text. Yeah. Sige. So, next next is... Um, Rax? Yes. So, yung next is be in control of the learning process. Uh, especially, kunyari dito sa VA Bootcamp, tag-enroll ka or may mga uh, free courses ka na in-enrollan, kailangan ikaw yung may control dun sa, sa learning process mo, hindi yung, ay, kailangan ko na itong matapos. Yung, yung super excited ka, tinapos mo kagad din lahat ng, ng videos, ng mga aaralin mo, pero hindi mo talaga siya fully naintindihan. So, dapat, Uh, kontrolado mo. Kunyari, may, may isang sub-skill ka na sobrang nahihirapan ka o hindi mo siya talaga gaanong naintindihan, harap ka ng way para maintindihan mo siya kasi sayang yung sayang naman yung skill, yung inaaral mo kung hindi mo siya fulling naintindihan or yun nga, hindi ka ng advice dun sa teacher mo or dun sa sa mga advisors mo na, yun nga, kunyari dito sa VA Bootcamp, mag, mag-post ka dun sa mga, sa wall natin, sa flip na wall natin, kung may mga gusto kong itanong na hindi mo talaga naintindihan or mag-research ka sa internet kasi yun yung importante na ikaw yung may control sa learning process mo, naiintindihan mo yung mga sub-skills na gusto mong maintindihan para syempre, nag-grow ka talaga, hindi yung basta alam mo lang, may, may deep understanding ka din dun sa, ano, sa skill na gusto mong aralin. Ayun. Oo, oo. You know, um, you know, getting to that level na of a deep understanding talaga. That's that's something that we should try to aim for. Right? Getting to that, getting to that point, naman. Um, hey, Miss Miss Bomb. Ito, get feedback. Kasi so, maganda talaga ito yung humingi ka ng feedback. Hindi lang yung sa, yung, so, ginagawa natin ito sa, sa, hindi lang sa clients. Kasi, Tsaka dito sa habang nag-aaral tayo sa bootcamp, like yung ginagawa na ito sa Guided Hustle Challenge, di ba? Meron tayong feedback na nililigay ng mga coaches sa mga students. Kasi nag-improve talaga sila. And then, kung sa feedback din naman sa ginagawa mo from clients, di ba? Kasi pag minsan akala natin tama na yung ginagawa natin, tapos pagdating sa client, mali pa na yung ginagawa natin. So maganda rin na humihingi tayo ng feedback para alam natin kung ano yung babaguhin natin, ano yung mga kailangan pa natin aralin para mas magawa natin ng maayos yung Mm-hmm. Pero usually takot kasi tayo sa feedback, di ba? Ba't ako hindi? <laughs> oh, di ba ako oh, palagi naman? Ng... Oh, oh. Oh, okay. well, takot kasi tayo sa feedback? Oo, oh, ako. <laughs> takot sa feedback. <laughs> Minsan. Parang nasa culture natin kasi parang feeling ko na sa culture natin na we're not used to receiving feedback. Naalala ko tuloy yung feedback. <laughs> feedback ni, ni Sir JD during the hassle challenge. Kabagong kabago talaga ako. <laughs> Ayun. Uh... Tapos ano nangyari nung natanggap na yung feedback? At si Jessa, wala na. O yan. Ayan. Jessa, ano nangyari nung, nung, nung natanggap mo yung feedback? Dead ma? Dead ba ako ni Joyce Tata? Nung natanggap mo yung feedback na free during the MCI call. Uh, Ay, uh, yung MCI. Uh, parang, may, parang may connection issues ata si Jessa. So, Oo nga eh. Tuloy mo, Jessa. Yung uh, feeling mo usually na... Yung feeling mo usually na... Bak- ay, pangit, parang feeling ko pangit yung feedback sa akin. Pero... Oo, meron nga connection issue. Yung feeling ko kasi, parang ang pangit pong naging output ng MCI call with Sir JD. Tapos, um, okay naman pala siya sa point of view niya is okay. Pero yung point of view ko, it's not okay. So, it's not, parang it's not the same standard, parang ganyan. So, yung expectation ko was at parang super high. Masyado kong ano, harsh yung sarili ko. Parang ganyan. So, sa nakaka-relief ma marinig na yung feedback pala ni Sir JD's, okay naman. Diba? Usually, we're, we're, 
we're so you know we we feel na we're not good enough di ba um, on the other side that we feel na ay hindi ako magaling dito hindi hindi ako marunong pero once we actually once we get feedback from other people like in just a situation na ayun we we realized na ha okay lang pala to ah mm-hmm. ayun mga drawings ko sa tingin ko ang pangit-pangit pero sa totoo lang yung <laughs> drawing ko <laughs> I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the to the comments here. Um, break my time for comments here. Um, hello. Uh, Dessa, hello. Um, first time catching live sessions. Great, great. So I'm, I'm, I hope you're learning something. If, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the sa comments below. See, um, Reyes from, from Bataan, Emmanuel, hello. Um, Inigo, uh, first time makahabol na napanood tong live na to nyo. Ha? Hello po. Uh, JP, first time panood. Ang daming ano, first timers dito. Ah, um, yes. hope you're learning something um, shared shared uh late itong, ano, um sabi ni Amelita, you must have your own initiative to learn you're just waiting diba? you have to you have to take action and, and we're all here because we take action um itong comment ni, ni emmanuel it, um yep it's true freelancing gold nuggets are scattered out there youtube or google and others to learn needed freelancing skills and you will we and will lead to a longer journey. And the good side of uh, of course offered by VAB or Outland can steer uh, a freelancer with step by step to be job ready. Uh-oh. So that's that's what we're trying to do then. Um Sabini Anna kinakaban si Nasi Jessa. Um, Amelita, we tend to be defensive than receptive to feedback. Diba? Yun ang parang yes. reactive tayo. Oh, hindi naman na. Hindi naman totoo. Diba? That, that a lot of us react that way. Um, especially when it's constructive or negative feedback. Diba? Oh, hindi naman totoo yan. Diba? Pero we have to take it positively. Diba? We, have, we have to take it for improvement. Yun naman ang goal natin. Diba? To improve is to get better. So we have to take it that way. Um, oh nga. Sabi yeah. mo nga. <laughs> yes, I'm right. I'm very confident in my drawings. Ko. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, Joy. Joy. Hello. Si Joy is a cool one. Si Joy is a cool one. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. So dito, uh, sabi dito, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Ayun, naalala ko pa kasi that time during my interview with my client, sabi niya, um, you know, just um, if you don't know anything, you can ask us. Don't make, uh, don't be afraid of making mistakes, sabi niya. So na, sabi niya, uh, mistakes are there for us to learn, sabi niya ganun. So na, naaalala ko siya every time nagagawin ko yung mga tasks na, or yung mga, I mean, yung mga, yun nga, tas na hindi nila, hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa alam. Sa, so, meron pa rin palang, meron pa rin palang mga clients na gano'n, na sasabihin during the interview pa lang na, papalakasin niya yung loob mo na, we are here to help you. Ayan, so, do not um, afraid to make mistakes. Diba? Sabi nga niya, we are all humans, so human tend to make mistakes nga. Kaya nga tayo nagpa-practice is because we want to um, improve yon para hindi na tayo magkakamali sa susunod dating mga gagawin. Yes. Mm-hmm. Same tayo, Miss Jessa, ng client. Gusto niya na nagtakang <laughs> na okay lang magkamali para if ever, ah. makukorek agad, ganyan. Ah, Mababait oh. sila. <laughs> Mababait sila. Mm-hmm. Uh, most most clients naman talaga are 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 you know, will understand that we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. So um, don't be afraid of making mistakes. I uh, don't be afraid of making mistakes because that's that's one of the ways that we can learn. If we try to be perfect all the time, then um, yeah, parang will never. We'll, uh, parang if you, if you want to submit perfect work, never mo siyang musa submit because it because it will never never be perfect. Pero you know, once you submit work, tapos 
Um, even if it's not perfect, and if you make mistakes, you learn from the mistakes. Um, and that's that's when we we go through the learning process, Talia. When you make mistakes, so it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to even fail sometimes. But what's important is that we learn from it. You know? See, so, yeah. um, here, don't be uh, beware of the need um, for instant gratification. Okay, so instant gratification means that instant, uh, parang we get something right away. That's what instant gratification is. Um, and and I guess especially nowadays, that we're always looking for instant gratification. Um, we always want instant noodles or um, put in our restaurants. Parang when sabihin a mga 30 minutes pa yung pagkain, pa ang, ang tagal, di ba? Um, when we go on, when we, even when we watch TV now, parang Netflix, ang bilis, instant gratification, tat, agad, we get, we really get what we want immediately. Pero, um, when it comes to learning, we have to be careful for it with instant gratification, especially when we're learning a new skill. Because, you know, it's not overnight that you will learn or even you, that you will reach your goals. Um, and if you aim for getting something instantly, if you aim for na, if you aim na, sige, I'll, I'll be able to achieve this immediately, chances are you're not gonna, you're gonna be focused on the wrong thing. You're gonna be focused on, um, yeah, your instant gratification na yun, um, instead of seeing the long-term goal, diba? Like, for example, sa VA Bootcamp or, or becoming an online freelancer, um, it takes time talaga, diba? It takes time. It, it can take a few months for some people to really see from the fruit of their efforts. And um, some people will give up. They'll say, Wag na, balik, balik na ako sa ano, balik na ako sa call center para may pera na ako. Um, so, instead of working on, of, of continuously learning, of continuously applying and, and, and working hard, um, they want instant gratification. And that, that's, that's, that's our parang tendency natin is to look for instant gratification. Um, but you know, keep your eye on the goal and know that usually there's something bigger that we're working for. But the more time we invest, um, the bigger yung rewards that in the end. Yes. Uh, all right, let's move on to Joy. Yeah, go long. Parang factor in sa itong ano, yung sa go long. Kasi ito, yung sa virtual assistant na yung mga skills na aralin. Uh, na-excite ako nung una, as in, nag-notes pa ako, ganyan. Pero nung mga bandang, ano na, mga five days na ata, nag-sunod-sunod ako na nag-aaral ng mga lessons, ganyan. Parang totoo na nakaka-overwhelm. Parang di mo alam kung tama ba to. <laughs> Nagagawa naman yung mga assignments, ganyan. Pero parang may time na mapurfrustrate ka. <laughs> Kasi parang hindi mo alam kung yung skill ba is tama sa'yo, ganyan. Pero nag-go-go ka pa din. Ako kasi, ano eh, nag-enroll ako nung mga July. Pero nag-start ako August na mag-ano, mag, mag-aralin yung mga skills. Nung na-overwhelm ako, nung na-prostrate ako, iniwan ko siya ulit. Tapos <laughs> last year, <laughs> kasi may corporate pa ako nun. So sabi ko, sige, wag muna. <laughs> Parang nag-stop ako sa pag-ano, aral. Kasi doon nalagay, eh, parang pagpasok ko yung frustrations ko. Kaya, ngayon, nung this year, nung pumasok yung year na to, parang naalala ko ulit yung VA bootcamp. Like, <laughs> din ako dito, ganyan. Kaya, February lang ako graduate. Imagine, from July, nag-enroll. <laughs> February ko lang din sa tinapos. Tapos, nung sa March, nag-try din ako na aralin muna ulit bago mag-apply. Kasi doon naman na yung skill, na-aral mo na yung skill, ganyan. Pero nandun pa rin yung feel mong ma-overwhelm ka, ma-frustrate ka, lalo na pag mag-interview na ulit, ganyan, sa mga clients. Kaya, pero yung pinaka-main goal mo, bakit mo nga ba ito inaral? So, babalik ka doon sa ano, sa main goal mo. Bakit ka nag-invest, bakit ka nag-ano, bakit ma-aral yung skill na to Ngayon, go long. Kahit long yung process, trust, trust mo lang yung, ano, yung learning ano, capacity mo. Kasi eventually, mas ma... Um, kung, kung, kasi iba-iba, iba-iba talaga tayo ng learning capabilities eh. 
uh, merong makukuha mo skill na mabilis mabilis agad pero parang mabilis din mawawala pero pag uh, inintindi mo talaga yung skill mas mas magiging effective para sa iyo ganun yun sa akin yung na overwhelm ako nung una nung sinusunod ko pero nagpost ako kahit medyo matagal yung <coughs> pag yung post ko at least nung nandun yung motivation ko yung, deter- yung determination ko na tapusin nagtuloy-tuloy na hangga't sa April nakakuha na agad ako ng mga clients. Bilis, no? Oh, bilis. Bilis na ako ng client after. Pero, you know, the process itself, it, it took ilang months pa? Ang mga eight, ano, eight months pa yun? <laughs> Oo, oh, matagal na ako. Matagal din. So long. Para sa akin talaga yung dulo. Pero in, in, in the end, di ba? In the end, you're... you're You've achieved, diba? Where you are right now, diba? Because, because you, you, you came back, diba? Um, and I think it's like that usually when when we're trying something new, parang nakaka-excite, diba? It, it's some we're always excited by something new. Pero when we realize na ay hirap nito, overwhelming nito, that that's when we we lose our motivation, um, we get tired, um, and a lot of the times that's when people quit. Um, pero you know it's good that. No, I enjoy that you came back and a lot of people did a lot of like a lot of people watching right now because they've enrolled into boot camp and we're in that same situation that um parang they've they've they're on pause sigur, or you know well enough motivation um but you know as, as you heard from joy sharing um you know, just, just you know you can always come back and you can always but um go go long right? go long it doesn't matter how we get there right? it doesn't matter If we get there quicker, we get there. If we, we take a long time, but what matters is we reach our goals. Then, right? Yes, mm-hmm. agree, my John. Why did you comment, Jessa? Really, Jessa, really. No, no. Because it's like that's the only thing we're trying to do. Even if we're getting too slow or too fast in the learning process to get there, that's the finish line, the goal natin. Yun nga. Sabi nga ni Joy yung ano natin, yung learning uh, capabilities natin. Yung iba slow, yung iba fast, ganyan. Pero no matter what, isa lang naman yung goal natin eh. Diba? Maging successful dito sa pinili, pinili natin career, which is uh, freelancing, di ba? Exactly, exactly. Yes. Yes. Um, sige, um, Rax. Um, Ayun. Yes, so yung next practice everywhere. So lahat naman tayo may may cellphone, 'di ba? Lagi naman siya nating dala. So para kung may gusto kong aralin na skill, certain skill, tutulan dala mo naman yung cellphone mo, especially dito sa Pilipinas, traffic. Take mo na yung advantage na kunyari mag mag magbasa-basa nung nung kung nag-enroll ka man sa BE Bootcamp, basahin mo yung yung mga courses or panoorin mo yung mga video na inenrollan mo habang traffic or habang naghihintay ka sa kung ano man kasi you need to yun nga, you need to practice everywhere yung yung oras mo na wala ka namang ginagawa yun yung pwede mong gamitin para aralin mo isang mong skill na gusto mong aralin kunyari yun nga isa pagiging virtual assistant manood ka ng mga videos ano ba yung ginagawa ng mga isang virtual assistant take the free courses manoorin mo kung ano ba yung mga kailangan mag take down notes ka tapos ano pa ba yun nga yung Marami naman tayong free time, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, lalo na yung traffic talaga. Usually, one hour, two hours, nag, nandun ka lang, nakaupo ka lang. So, take advantage mo na yon para manood yung mga gusto mo ng skills na aralin. Ayan. So, practice everywhere. Kung nasan ka man, wala kang ginagawa. Pwede mong aralin yung skills na gusto mong aralin. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. um, yeah, sa, sa traffic. Ako, yeah. nag, nagpo-podcast ako before nung... nung when I was working in Manila, um, nagpa-podcast ako para well, wow. habang yun siya. Uh, <laughs> Nahilo ko. Ingat sa mga ano, sa mga snatcher. <laughs> Ale, sorry? Ingat lang sa mga snatcher. Kunyari, nakakay yung cellphone mo, tapos ay wala na. Kinuha na pala. Kung nag ano, kung nag, kung nag FX or nag UV ka, di ba pwede? Yeah. Apo. <laughs> And um, going to the comments here, uh, I was looking at the comments. Um, shout out to mga no overwhelm, sabi ni Emmanuel. Overwhelm. No overwhelm ka ba din? Sabi ni Krisha, go for the gratification pa rin. Mas satisfying yun. Oo, oo, 
Oo. Um, Malin si Y, siya yung andyan yeah. kapag doon ka na ni motivation. Oh, let's focus on oh. why we're doing this, why we're, why you're trying to reach your goal. It could be, um, diba, you're, it could be family, it could be, uh, maybe you, you want, you have your own personal goals that you want to achieve, but, you know, focus on your, focus on your why. Kasi yung, yung motivation, nawawala talaga yung motivation, di ba? Uh, it, it will really disappear. Um, it will really disappear at times. So, you know, if we focus on our why and focus on our goals, um, you know, we can, we can get momentum again and continue, continue. Um, you know, Sal, I, I feel her knowing that nawala ng motivation. No? It happens, Sal. <laughs> Um, sabi ni Ruth, first time makapanood ng katulad nito from Flip. Nice. nice. Thank you. Um, si Jade, uh, tulad ko po dapat tapos na ako, pero dahil gawa na rin ng, na walang time dito sa abroad, nabit nito yung time na napagod ako, kaya nag-pause muna, pero I always open my course and while watching videos. Uh, don't, I don't hear that. That's right. Wow. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Um, sige, sige. Um, let's move on um, to our next bong. Miss Bong is like that. Ayan. Yung parang be held accountable. Ito na nga. Kasi diba tayo dyan din naman yung nag-aaral ng lessons. Yung mga skills na gusto natin aralin. So parang bigyan natin yung sarili natin ng yung anta yung may goal tayo para may push tayo like for example ako yung ginol ko gusto ko ring ma interview sa just success noon di ba kaya di ba kaya gusto na ara goal natin gusto natin parang nakakainggit naman di ba gusto natin ma interview din dun sa just success patahin niyo pinakaanuhin natin kasi kung hindi naman kasi mag-isa lang naman tayo nag-aaral di ba kung wala tayong goal na ganun parang mawawalan talaga tayo ng motivation. At saka syempre yung, yung why din natin, di ba? Kabalikan din natin yung why natin. Okay. No, wala. Oo. Oh, oh. yung, yung accountability is, is very important talaga, di ba? Um, if, if, especially if you can find an accountability partner na... Oh, will... Meron tayo, di ba? Sa bootcamp. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. um, may, may... There are a lot of people who are doing the accountability para... Yeah, you know, your accountability partner will. Parang you're supposed to report to them. Kung ginawa mo ba yung dapat ng gawin, no, diba? So um, having that accountability really helps us keep going forward. It really helps us keep going forward. Um, sige, Jessa. Uh, uh, give a new skill a minimum of eight weeks. So par bali dito parang. Um, bigyan natin yung sarili natin ng time frame para dun sa skill na gusto nating matutunan. Parang ganun. So, for example, gusto mo matutunan si, uh, I mean, yung VA Bootcamp before, yung mga courses, meron, sa, meron, meron dun a month para mapanood yung mga courses na gusto nating, um, yung mga courses dun. So, for that specific month, matututunan mo lahat yung mga courses to start uh, to be a freelancer or vir a virtual assistant. So, parang doon, may time frame ka na sinusunod. So, a week, ito na yung time frame mo. Meron kang specific skill na ma-achieve mo. So, a week, ma-unlock mo na to until eight weeks. Pero pag hindi mo na-achieve, for example, yung um, skills na gusto mo matutunan within siguro yung time frame mo, which is eight weeks, um, this is um, time naman, give yourself uh, break and then um, to think also yung big wise mo para then ma-motivate ka. Kasi usually pag, pag eight weeks sasabi mo, ang tagal naman nung um, time frame ko tapos wala pa ako na-unlock na skill set. Parang ganyan. So, ba de motivate ka na naman? So, from there, isipin mo na naman yung biggest why mo from the start kung bakit mo talaga siya uh, pinag-aaralan. Yeah, so... Have that time frame, right? that, that's that's very important. Uh, minimum of eight weeks to learn a skill. Ang haba pa ng gan pero it does take time. Hindi mabilisan yung learning process, diba? so, um, so that's a really good tip na we can all keep in mind when we're learning something new. Okay. Um, di ba? No, di ba? Ang why mo ang laging ah, uh, why left sa learning? Uh, so. 
um, lagging anong jan for to get back to where you were, where you left. Um, si Melvin, oh, question para to. Uh, ano ba yung modules na nasa old WTF website sa VA Bootcamp, like sa Excited and QBO courses? Um, we are, like sa complete, we have new modules sa VA Bootcamp complete. And yung, yung accelerated, we're doing a, uh, we're, we're going to refresh the, the lessons there pretty soon then. So um, there are definitely some changes. Um, si Marielle, go with Nagama feature suggest success. Uh, yeah. Wow. Abangan natin yung ano mo, Marielle. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, interview mo. Nilista na ni Miss Bong. Yung pagalan na kalista na. Si Manuel, uh, it's more wise. Why, why you want to dive into freelancing? Why you wanted to, why you, why to like to be a, a freelancer? Uh, yun po ang mga sample ng why. Diba po? Yung mga, what give us those reasons diba? why you want to go to, to freelancing and so on. Uh, sabi ni Hasmin, um, gusto ko yan, give a new skill a minimum of eight weeks. Uh, so, uh, I'm a question. How does uh, one know which skills really go together? Um, who, who can answer that? How does one know which skills really go together? Together, Saru. Sarang related. I guess mga related skills. Really go together. Uh, Ang pagkakaintindi ko, ano ba yung skill na parang mag-ano uh, sa kanya, mag-fit sa kanya para malaman? How does one know which skills really go together? Um, I think yung parang yung related skills, I could say, Instagram and Facebook. But, pero sige, ano, like, yung, try to answer that, like, what, what's match sa kanya? Parang how, how does one know, correct? Mm. Siguro yun nga, para sa akin kung, kung ano yung, kung saan ka passionate about, tulad nung, ano, kunyari, uh, mahilig kang mag, ano, magsulat-sulat, mag-vlog, ganon. So, possibly, pwede kang mag- mag-start ng sarili mong vlog, mag-study ka kung paano mag, uh, maging isang vlogger, or di kaya uh, adi ka sa Pinterest, ganon, or mahilig ka mag mahilig kang gumawa ng kung ano-ano, or creative ka, pwede kang maging, uh, yun nga, Pinterest manager, ganon, so mag magdadagdag ka lang talaga ng mga konting skill, pero kung ano talaga yung gusto mo, kung saan ka talaga passionate, yun yung pwede mong maging skills, like adi ka mag magano mag social media ganon updated ka sa lahat ng mga uh, kung ano man yung meron sa social media so pwedeng pwede kang maging social media manager ayun so yun siguro yung isang ano way para malaman mo kung ano yung skills na fit para sa iyo thank you thank you Rex um yeah, sabi ni Kenny well giving time frame really helps you master a certain skills and help you also improve those weaknesses as well. Uh, you should have that time yeah. frame. And if you don't give a time frame, then um, it might take you forever. It might take, it might take you forever then to, to learn something. <laughs> but that might take you time frame. At least eight weeks. It's a deadline. Uh -oh. Deadline. Because if you don't have a deadline, you're overwhelmed. You're overloaded. So, pabilisan. Oh, kailangan matutunan ko na now na now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, sabi... <laughs> so, yeah, <that's> good. <laughs> sabi ni Marie Gonzalez, uh, more power to you guys. Tigilin niyo po. More power. Power. <laughs> <Sige, ate>. Go, ate. <laughs> Sige, uh, Chin, I'll confirm ko lang po if need po ng renewal sa VA Bootcamp. Ito one year na po yung access nyo. Um, yes, one year renewal yung VA Bootcamp. Um, but we do have some offers din sa renewal. We have some discounts for renewal if you're a renewing member. So um, send us a message or send us an email para we can, we can get you on that. Um, with that can't help myself to choose specific skills. Feeling ko ang dami ko nang alam because of VA Bootcamp, pero can't, um, can't choose a specific skill. Parang, parang problem, problem din kanina. Uh, so, well, let, let's try to try to ask, like, si, si Jessa, like, how did you choose what skills to focus on? Um, 
kasi social media entrepreneur ako. So, ang hilig kong magbenta online ng mga, <laughs> ng mga, kung ano-ane, anik-anik, ganyan. Pero, hindi ako napunta dun sa pagiging e-commerce VA, which is talagang inline. Pero, since, ano siya, online siya, napunta siguro ko dun sa, ano, social media, yung mga creating ng contents, ganyan, scheduling. So, not really, not really, ano siya, direct na ano. Pero meron siyang connection sa internet world, I mean, social media pa din. Oo, oo. So, ayun, you already have that area of experience. Mm-hmm. Sige, sige. Ikaw, Bong, how do you choose your, your ano, HR? Yung, ano mo? HR? Depende, don't talk. Don't talk. Hindi, depende dun sa, dun sa, sa mga na-applyan. Pero, and pala, parang nung nag-start pa lang ako, dun ako napupunta talaga, nag-add na, uh, HR intern. Kasi nga, di ba, yung background ko is business, tsaka people management. So, parang dun ako napupunta. Tapos, kasi hindi ko rin alam kung ano yung venture ko. Hanggang sa na-realize ko na lang na dun pala ako dinadala yung mga nakukuha kong client. Kasi depende din sa nakukuha mong client. Parang dun na linya yung mga nakukuha mong client. Sometimes, sometimes, parang dada din ka lang doon, di ba? Based on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oo. Para, para kaya nga maganda, di ba? Sa bootcamp, ang skills natin is general admin, yeah. di ba? Alam natin lahat. So, alam natin mm-hmm. lahat ng school. So, kung saan tayo, doon saan tayo mag-enjoy na gawin, kung sa email marketing ba, social media management or marketing, doon, doon, doon para maano mo na lang, one day makikita mo na lang, ay, parang gusto ko to. Tapos yun, marirealize mo, parang gusto ko pang aralin to, gusto ko pang patulan to. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's how I get So, um, it's it's almost time to end. So, um, what we're gonna do is we'll have parang um some message or yes, final tip from each one of us, like in regards to this topic or uh, um yeah, how to learn any skill and, and based on your own experience, like what really worked for you. What's like the number one thing that worked for you to really learn new skills and uh, that made you successful? So, let's start kang joy. Um, yung sa akin, if you really want to learn a new skill faster or ganyan, you have to make time and you have to practice it every day. Kung overwhelmed ka man, it, remember, it's okay to pause. It's okay. Basta babalik ka ulit at aaralin mo ulit yung skill na yun. Kasi at the first place, ginusto mo, saka gusto mo rin yung magiging end goal mo. Yan lang po. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Ayun, sa akin din ganun. Uh, pinaka nagustuhan ko dito yung uh, yung magpa-practice ka mag set aside ka ng time like kunyari mag-set aside ka ng mag-set aside ka ng 1 hour per day or 2 hours para aralin mo yung specific skills na yun. Saka hindi mo lang siya aaralin, syempre magpa-practice practice ka din, mag apply ka ng mga internship, ganun, or sa sarili mong gawa ka ng sarili mong, uh, kunyari, WordPress or social media para ma-practice mo, may apply mo yung mga natutunan mo. Ayun, so mag-set aside ka talaga ng time, tapos i-apply mo kung ano yung mga naaral mo. Kasi doon mo makikita kung nag improve ka talaga. Alright. Ikaw, Bong? Ako kasi, di ba, pag gusto mo talaga yung ginagawa mo, mag-go- mag-set aside ka talaga ng oras para aralin yun. So parang tayo gusto naman talaga natin mag freelance. So parang magbibigay tayo ng oras para mag-aral talaga tayo mag freelance. Kung ano yung mga kailangan pa natin improve sa sarili natin. Yung mga English, di ba? Kailangan natin improve yan kung paano tayo mag-communicate. So parang lahat yan, aaralin natin. Yung mga takot natin, uh, kung ano yung mga, yung mga weaknesses natin, kailangan natin uh, palakasin. So kailangan natin alamin kung ano yung mga weaknesses natin para mapag-aralan natin. And parang, since nga nag-enjoy tayo kasi gusto natin to kasi end goal natin is client at saka yung just success, di ba? Kung <laughs> na lang end goal natin, pare-pareho. <laughs> so parang, parang as go along. Tapos kasama, may kasama ka pa. Kung maga hindi tayo nag-iisa sa journey na pag-aaral natin, di ba? Nandyan yung student group, nandyan yung mga mentor. So parang nagiging masaya yung journey natin. Hindi yung parang nag-iisa lang tayo. So parang masaya naman. So parang... Uh, mas madali natin natututunan yung kahit anong skills at maka- makapag-master tayo ng skills na gusto natin i-master. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when we love what we're, when we, when we have that passion, that, that's ano, diba? Yes. Sige, uh, Jessa. 
yung sa akin naman, love na love ko yung, ano, yung time frame na i-give ko para dun sa sarili ko to learn a skill. Kasi mother ako, ako lang nagbabantay ng, ng baby ko. So, I make sure dati, nung nag-aral pa ako ng VA Bootcamp, ano siya, nag-set aside ako ng two hours. Every night yun, kahit antok na antok na ako. So, yeah. make sure ko na matapos ko yun. Kasi gusto ko siyang, gusto ko siya. Gusto ko siyang matapos, yeah. mapag-aralan. Para at least, at the end of the course, I have... I have a client na. Ayan. So, masasabi ko na naging successful naman yung journey ko doon sa pag-aaral kasi ay ano, hindi, hindi kasi ako makapag-aral kapag hindi ako makapag-focus. Si baby nandiyan, upo na upo sa lap ko, ganyan. Gusto niya rin nakaharap sa laptop. So, doon sa mga um, gustong mag mag-aral ng freelancing or skill talaga, uh, kailangan focus ka kung ano yung goal mo na mapag-aralan. And then give yourself time frame kung uh, a week or I mean, every, I mean how many weeks mo siya kailangan pagtutukan para mapag-aralan mo. And sometimes kasi yung mga skills na dapat natin matutunan, hindi natin alam na skills na pala yan. Email management, yung mga ganyan. Oh, ah, wow, it's a skill na pala, di ba? Parang ganon. So, gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo na ano, don't give up. <laughs> Just continue learning kasi it's a never-ending process naman talaga. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. It's an ending problem. Ako naman, um, well, routine. Routine is something that I think we should all try to create. Um, because mm-hmm. yun yung motivation, yung passion, minsan nawawala yun. And then if we haven't parang set up the routine and the discipline, um, ayun, we'll, we'll lose track of our goals and lose track of um, the actions that are taking us towards our goals. So, um, if you create that routine, create create that discipline. Na kahit hindi mo fail, gawin mo siya. Um, so yun. Have try to practice that discipline, and once you have that, um, you can really learn new skills quickly. And kahit anong area na yun. All right. Uh, thank you so much to our guests tonight. Um, we we had a lot of great discussions. Uh, just a reminder for everybody on Wednesday at. Um, Wait, itong balitong ano to ah, yung time ko. Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, 6 p.m. ba yung just access natin? Uh, let me double check here. But I'm pretty sure that our just success is this coming Wednesday, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, the topic is why rejections and scams did not stop her from freelancing. Beth Leava will be sharing with us on Wednesday at 6 p.m. So don't, you don't want to miss that. Thank you once again to all of our guests. Thank you for everyone who is watching tonight. Thank you for promoting Davao. And then? Davao Meetup sa Friday. Ay, sa Friday pa ni Davao Meetup. Um, yeah, there's a Davao Meetup on Friday. Uh, ayan, dito pa. Yeah. That will meet up on Friday at 10 in the morning in Regis da Mosa. So don't wow. forget about that uh, for all of you in the Davao area um, from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Okay, 10 a.m. to 12, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Um, that's on Friday over in Davao. Okay, so thank you everybody for staying on. Thank you to all our guests. Um, have you, have you. a good week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.